Good morning, good afternoon, good evening for whatever you view this, whenever you're seeing it, whatever medium you're viewing it. Uh, happy Friday. We finally made it, which is a little dicey these days. Like, let's be honest, it's a the world we're living in right now, man. It is. It's a little it's a little difficult to get to Friday. I'm not gonna lie. It's a it, no no judgment if you're viewing this. Like, let's be honest, you don't know what's in this. It could be it could be it could be green tea. It could it could be it could be Tito's. No one really knows, and no judgment. I, I hey. No joking at all. We're just, I'm just really excited that everyone uh, that is viewing this right now, thank you so much for viewing this, for being a part of this, for joining me. It is the first inaugural, which is redundant, redundant, uh, Facts and Feelings Friday. Uh, I am really excited to be here. Uh, for those of you that know me, uh, and for those that don't, welcome. I'm Brooke Furness, and this is a BZ Consultants Group, to Facts and Feelings Friday. And um, we're just going to dive right into it. This is the first time I'm doing this for obviously my, my company uh, because we just kicked off and we'll get into a whole bunch of stuff here. Well, who I am, why I, brought, I started the company, why behind what, you know, what goes into it. Um, and the, the question I get asked most as of right now, what the hell is the Z and BZ? Because no one understands what it is and that's nothing secret at all. We'll get into that and why I'm doing this uh, and, you know, how often we're doing this, everything in between. So the nitty gritties of everything. So, uh, first and foremost, uh, facts and feelings. Let's get into that real quickly. Uh, I creatively borrowed that from Tim Cox. Tim Cox probably has no idea that I borrowed that from, well, I'm sure he does because I'm seeing it, but he probably has no idea what an impact it made on me when he did a presentation earlier last uh, last year. And that phrase stuck with me so much and I can't take credit for it because I took it from him. Um, I'll say creatively borrowed. Can I say like stole or took? It's a little harsh. And so he did that presentation and for that is forever resonated with me. Hence the reason I continue to say it. And the reason I've uh, in, um, taken it into everything I've done with my company. And the, one of the reasons is, is that too often we get into, Oh, he said, she says, well, I feel this way. Well, I think this, all of that arbitrary think and feel, well, I believe it's this, those are all things that can't be proven. Right. And I'm really big on, okay, well, is it factual? And yes, I'm very OCD when it comes to certain things. Anyone that knows me knows that you never get into a battle with data with me because you're going to probably lose. And I get a little, like I said, a little OCD. So um, when it's factual, we can get in and say, here's the report, prove me wrong. If you can prove me wrong, fantastic. I will be gladly say fantastic. Kudos to you. I'll step back. That's great. But we get in the, he said, she said, well, blah, 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 blah drama filled, honestly, bullshit that's the feelings of everything. And that's where it gets a little, I won't even say gray at that point. It's, I don't know what color you'd go into pick a color, but it's not even gray anymore because it's, there's nothing there. It's just how someone feels. So whether it's how someone feels or our vendor feels or another company feels or what have you, I just, that, that, that what he said just so resonated with me because when it comes down as here's the actual factual thing, here's the report, here's the data, here's the metrics. You can't dispute that here's actually what's going on. Now, I understand some will say, well, what about my gut? My gut's telling me that. Well, great. If your gut's telling you that, that will most likely turn into be factual at some point. So that's a factual thing. So anyways, Tim Cox, thank you very much. Um, Carnell, thank you for having Tim Cox. So thank you very much. So that's what got us to there. So now we get into BZ. BZ, that's my company. Why the hell did I start a company, Brooke? I've been told multiple times, oh, you've had cushy jobs in the past. Why would you venture out into the unknown of having an entrepreneurial when you've had all these other jobs? You know, not all these other jobs. It makes you sound like I've had a lot of jobs. But other jobs were maybe were a cushy job. Honestly, I got so sick and tired of um, there are business partners and there are vendors. And once again, if you've ever heard me speak at any point, you one, heard me say facts and feelings. And two, you've heard me talk about vendors and business partners. Uh, being a quote unquote vendor, um, if I ever got called a vendor, I knew I was going to be on my way out pretty damn soon. Uh, a vendor is someone that you're like, oh, here comes Bob, our vendor. Ah, he just cringe. A business partner is just that an actual business partner. You partner together and you're working towards a common goal towards something that's, Hey, we're going to reach this goal. We're going to work together towards whatever, blah, 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 blah. Vendor is someone that's, uh, just that a vendor <laughs> goes without saying, right? So 
I, what I have found on whatever seat in which you're sitting, I don't care if you're CEO, I don't care if you're president, I don't care if you're fixed up, digital marketing, uh, BDC service, whatever it may be, you, there's, everyone has a, a role, right? And um, someone comes in and says, all right, here's the data. Here's this X, Y, and Z. Well, you're supposed to be there. I'm like, um, okay, sure. Who's there to interpret all that for you? No one's really there to be like, okay, this is actually what it means. You get two, so many times, and I've sat in just about every seat there's a seat sit at this point that you get pulled in so many directions. Even when you're like, okay, every Tuesday at 10 o'clock, this is our meeting. What happens too often is that Tuesday at 10 o'clock, Billy Bob comes running into the office and says, oh my gosh, we've got a code red, blah, blah, blah. You get pulled away. Customer comes walking in. We've got a, you know, some car door just fell off the, off the car and now you got to go take care of that. Too many things happen too often or when it comes to the digital aspect of it, half the time, well, way more than half the time, you know, most people in the digital world, in the car industry don't understand by no fault of their own. They just don't understand what all this crap is. It's just a, it's a completely different language to them. So these, I'm going to use the word vendor at this point, come in and they just complete, take complete advantage of them and said, well, because you don't understand that, let's go ahead and buy your name. And when we buy your name, we know we have you hooked for forever because look at all the, let me show you all this data about how awesome you're doing. Oh, oh my gosh, look, your numbers are going crazy because you bought your name. Well, if I'm in that situation, let me tell you how wrong they are. Yeah, those numbers look amazing, but you wanna know why they look amazing? Because you're buying your own freaky name. So that's a whole other issue in itself. We won't get into that. But having someone that can come in and say, you know what, Mr. Or Mrs. Dealer, how about instead you focus on what you really want to do, which is what? Not being in a meeting, not have my eyes glazed over, not fall asleep in the meeting, and maybe go focus on my customers. Maybe go sell because that's what I really want to do. Maybe focus on training my staff. Maybe do all these other things, which is not being another freaking meeting because all I'm ever do is in a freaking meeting. So having someone that can come in and say, you know what, I understand this foreign digital language, which is you have to have some translator to do it because it's insanity. And I can come through, we can say, you know what, vendor A is taking complete advantage of you, get rid of them. Vendor B, you know, vendor B is doing an okay job. However, when they tell you they need to increase the budget, they're full of shit. And we're unbiased. So we don't really care if you keep A, B, or C. We don't give a shit. All we care about is you being profitable, you doing well. That's all we care about. We don't care about all this thing. We don't have ties to these people. We don't really care. So when vendor C says they're doing horrible, like, hey, you need to increase your budget by 20%, go jump in a lake. We don't know. You don't. No, that's not the case at all. So having someone that's one, unbiased, doesn't care how, you know, whether or not you keep these people, all we care about, we don't care about the feelings. We care about the facts, right? So we care about the facts. So here are the facts. Oh, your Google Analytics are set up correctly. Really? Then how come 90% of the stuff is in the other, other bucket? Yeah, they're not set up correctly at all. Really? Let's talk about the views. Are they set up in sales and service views? Didn't think so. So having someone come in, hold the vendors accountable, let you guys, let you all get back to what you really want to be doing, which is not at all handling any or dealing with these digital vendors. We can bullet point it here, here, and here, boom, get you back on your way. Don't have to be sitting through another meeting. Boom, you're done. So that's in a very nutshell, what we're doing, how we do things, why I did it. I just honestly got so sick and tired of digital vendors uh, taking advantage of people. And it's not just digital, uh, I want to be very clear. It's not just ad agencies. I, I've had, it's like most, anyone that's been in this space, more stories than I can count of third-party vendors taking advantage of dealerships as well. So this is not just one side or the other. And um, in this space right now, are third-party vendors necessary? Of course they are. Of course they are. There's some very, very good ones. It's just holding them accountable and being able to say, hey, is this working seamlessly? Great. You need someone there that's overseeing it? Great. This is working great. Are you looking and you're, are you ins inspecting what you expect? If you're not, that's a big problem. So having someone there that's being able to do that. So that's what we do. Um, as for the Z and BZ consultants group, I have been asked that question more times I can count. 
I uh, growing up, um, well, still my, my middle initial is C as uh, it's Brooke Christine Furness. So I was always BC and then eventually I just went to BZ and that's where BZ came from. Uh, my other half, his last name is Zamar. So it just so happened that it, uh, it all, all came together as growing up, like I said, BZ and then my other half is Z. So, um, who knew growing up that that was going to end up that way. So uh, that is where the BZ comes from and the Z is BZ. Yeah, so that is a little bit about uh, who I am, how I got here. I've been doing this for, I think, as long as I can remember. Uh, even when I wasn't actually in the auto industry, when I was very, very young, I've always loved cars. I've uh, been in this, doing this for as long as I can remember. So that's, like I said, a little bit about me. We're doing this every Friday. We'll be doing facts and feelings, bringing people on, um, having them tell it about whether, even if they're not in the industry, I think it's the always, always smart to surround people smarter than you. And that's, there's a lot of people, a hell of a lot smarter than me. So um, whether it's, like I said, whether it's in this industry and other industry, bringing them on and letting them distinguish between their and bringing their facts and uh, distinguishing their facts and their feelings um, and bringing them on each week. Uh, next week, I'm, very, very excited to bring on someone that's way, way smarter than me. And I have learned more from him uh, and all of his time on this earth uh, than I can even uh, even quantify. And I'm really excited for you all to meet him and to learn from him. I think in just getting this business up and going, I'm kind of surprised that he didn't start screening my phone calls and my text messages. And I think my SOS messages and everything in between, um, because I was calling him so much. I, I think that... Uh, not think, I know that, um, like I said, he's incredibly brilliant and has had, uh, uh, he's a serial entrepreneur. So anyone that's even thinking about, hey, should I you know, go that direction of having a, a small business or um, you know, what have you, he's a great person to, to, uh, to, to listen to him because he's had, I think he's, I can't even, I don't know what business he's on at this point, but every time I talked to him, I was like, oh yeah, I just started this business. So yeah, I just uh, did this business. And um, like I said, he's a, I have a little biased, hence the, his name's Jordan Furness. I understand that. But even with that, it's a, he's a very, very intelligent human being and excited for you all to meet him. So uh, until next week, uh, have a wonderful weekend. Stay warm uh, as we are out here in Chiberia. It is a little chilly. And for everyone else, just uh, have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe. And until next week, be kind to everyone. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.